The theme of today's video is bots you've probably never seen before. And that's mainly because they don't log in all that often, but that doesn't mean they're not raking in a lot of GP. If you like the video, make sure to like the video. And if you like more than one of my videos, consider subscribing. Two out of every three viewers of mine are not subscribed. Let's start out with a pretty well-known fact about botting. The less you bot on an account, the less likely it is for you to be banned. If your bot logs in for five minutes a day, it's way harder for Jagex to ban you. If you bot for 20 hours a day on the same account, it's almost 100% likely that your bot will be banned. That's just pretty intuitive. The longer you bot, the more likely it is Jagex's detection method can pick up what you're doing. So I got a tip about a guy who thought he saw some birdhouse bots. I was never much of a skiller and I've never done birdhouses, but I read all about them and I went over to Fossil Island to check it out. I did find some suspicious accounts, but it's pretty hard to find them. After constructing a birdhouse, it takes 50 minutes for it to be ready to collect. So each bot only has to log in very briefly every 50 minutes. There are a bunch of easy quests required to do birdhouse runs, which is why you see some random stats. But all of the bots hunter levels ranged from 80 to 93. I submitted a list of 10 suspicious accounts to Jagex. They told me there are 195 accounts tied to just one mule in this bot farm. Now I looked for well over an hour and a half and I only found 10 of them and that is one of the reasons they don't get banned that often. There's a lot more to this bot farm that we'll get into right after the sponsor of today's video. Have you ever been talking about a specific topic like dog food then magically seen an ad or shopping recommendation for dog food a short time later? Now that example seems harmless, but I'm uncomfortable with large tech companies tracking what I say and selling that data to advertisers. That's why I use ExpressVPN. The software hides your IP address, which is something large tech companies can use to personally identify you. ExpressVPN makes your activity and therefore your data harder to trace and sell to advertisers. The best part is it's super easy to use. All you have to do is select the server you want to connect to and then hit connect. This clip isn't sped up at all. It only takes a few seconds to connect to dozens of countries. And specifically for RuneScape players in high stakes settings at the Duel Arena in PvP worlds or any time in the wilderness. Because ExpressVPN hides your IP address, it makes it harder for malicious players to DDoS you. So go to www.expressvpn.com slash surpugger to find out how to get three months for free. The link is in the description. Thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. All right, we're back. Jagex also told me that each account's average playtime per day was 20 minutes. The most efficient birdhouse run is between 80 and 90 seconds. I wanted to see how fast these bots were so I timed some of their runs and depending on the bots run energy It's between 90 seconds to two minutes All the bots had a high enough hunter level to do magic birdhouses some probably redwood birdhouses The loot from the birdhouses are around 15k each birdhouse. There are four of them So 60k per run again each bot averages about 20 minutes per day of playtime Which means they're doing about 10 runs per day So each bot roughly makes about 600k per day by only playing 20 minutes well when you have 195 bots making 600k per day. Each bot's making about 18 mil GP per month, and the whole bot farm's making about 3.5 billion GP per month. I don't know the ban rates for this, but it's a huge bot farm and a lot of them have really high hunter levels, so I'm guessing they're pretty low. It's pretty ridiculous that 200 accounts are making 3.5 billion GP per month, but each day, each account only logs in for about 20 minutes. Something else to consider though, each bot requires two bonds per month for membership. So the whole bot farm requires 390 bonds per month, which depending on the price of bonds costs between 1.5 and 2 billion GP. The bot farm never keeps many items on each account. They trade them off to the mule, which also trades off the gold very quickly. The mule was caught with 710 GP on it. I didn't have enough gold to buy all of the items to show you guys on the 195 accounts, but they had over 10,000 clockwork mechanisms, 20,000 crushed bird nests, which is 100 mil worth of bird's nests, tens of mils of each of the valuable seeds, yew tree seeds, magic seeds, maple seeds, dragon fruit tree seeds. So in total, the bot farm was only caught with about 1 billion GP on it. Every once in a while, I stumble on a bot farm, not because anyone tipped me off, but because I was looking for something strange. Strange. I was actually hopping around worlds looking for fletching bots at the Grand Exchange. Sometimes you can find stacks of them in the same world, sometimes you find them trading mules. Now if I wasn't looking specifically at a lot of the accounts at the Grand Exchange, I would never have even noticed this. There seemed to be a lot of level 90 accounts on the same few squares. There are lots of level 90s in the game in general, so that shouldn't even necessarily raise suspicions. When I first found them, the high scores were down, so I didn't even know if they had similar stats. I was just sitting in the same world and 
as I continued to watch, some of them logged out and more level 90s logged in. And then some of the original level 90s I found logged back in as well. Eventually, I was able to look them up on the high scores and that's when I knew I was onto something. These accounts have almost identical stats. Roughly 74 attack, defense, strength, and hit points, 44 prayer, and then a low fletching herblore or hunter level. They're not wearing any gear. Why do they have these stats and what are they doing at the Grand Exchange? So the first world I checked, I recorded over 20 different level 90s over the course of about 30 minutes. And I decided to start checking other worlds where I found more of the exact same level 90s. In total, I found 71 of these level 90 accounts at the Grand Exchange. I wasn't really expecting what Jagex told me and this is how this bot farm fits into the theme of this video. These bots only really log in for around one to six minutes at a time, although their average playtime is seven hours. Obviously, they're incredibly well hidden at the Grand Exchange, but that's not why they're there. Even though they have decent combat stats, they're actually flipping bots. Each account had between four to 50 mil on them. A lot of the accounts started with 30 mil to flip, although some of them started with only a few mil. Jagex told me they were flipping lots of runes like blood runes. They were also flipping blowpipes, barrows gear, armadill crossbows, and ballistas. In total, those 70 accounts had about 1.5 billion GP on them. I also later found 20 others that had 850 mil GP on them as well. Lots of the accounts had previous temporary bans for botting combat training. I still don't know why they trained their combat stats if they're flipping bots. Jagex also sent me a list of some of the items they were flipping with the profit margins per item. They flip Bando's chest plates with a 5k profit, Bando's tassets with a 30k profit, primordials with a 10k profit, lots of other stuff too. But there was a lot of variance of how many trades an account did per day on the Grand Exchange. Sometimes one account would do hundreds of trades per day. I think the general idea here was to use very small margins to build up gold over time on each account. Some of the bots that started out with 30 mil six months ago had made up to 140 million GP, which I guess for an automated flipping bot is not that bad, but it barely covers the cost of bonds for the account. The reason you've probably never seen this next bot farm is because I got it banned within two days of it starting up. A few days ago, I woke up to this tip that there was this fishy low level and full mystics killing dark wizards near Varrock. Just in case it was something bigger than one bot, I hopped on and started hopping around worlds in that location. And sure enough, in just about every other world, there were these level 41s all dressed identically in full blue mystics, fire bolting the dark wizards. I collected roughly 20 usernames, sent them off to Jagex, and at the end of the day, I checked back up on the farm and most of them were level 49. Their stats were 30 attack strength and defense and roughly 60 magic. It was too early of a stage for this bot farm to know what all the accounts were actually being created for. One guess though is all the mage only Zul robots out there. Jagex told me they found 188 of these accounts, all around 270 total level. As I said before, all of the accounts are only one to two days old. They average between 300 and 700 KGP each, which is about 100 mil total across all the accounts. But Jagex also found the 10 mule accounts feeding these accounts. Each one of the 10 mule accounts had 90 mil GP on them. So from the mules, we caught 900 mil GP, and from the accounts themselves, we caught another 100 mil. So 1 billion GP. GP total. The guy that tipped me off to just one of these accounts ended up getting 200 of them banned. And that's why you've likely never seen this bot farm, because within one to two days of existence, all 200 accounts were banned. Now, I got a tip that has to do with the Falador General Store. But let's start from the beginning. In the past Christmases, Jagex hosts a holiday event. It usually doesn't take very long to complete in free-to-play, and there are usually pretty good rewards from it. 2020 was no different. You talk to some goblins, it takes less than 10 minutes, and you're rewarded with about eight. And like the past few years, the event is usually heavily botted because it is accessible and free to play, but there's something different about this year. This year, there were new account trade restrictions in place. Previous years, I'd caught and intercepted trades from bots to their mules in Lumbridge. This year, you need 20 hours of gameplay, 10 or more quest points, 100 total level on a new free to play account to transfer wealth at all. So I had found at least 10 accounts on every single free to play world doing the Christmas event at one time. That's hundreds of these accounts doing the Christmas event just at one time. And this is where the Falador General Store comes in and a tip I got from a guy named Valueless Table. He said that these Christmas bots are actually selling the rares they get on the Falador General Store. I've talked about this before, but that's a very easy way to get around trade restrictions. If the item is considered super cheap to the General Store and it sells for a lot more on the Grand Exchange, you can just sell them to the General Store on the new account and buy them from the General Store on an older account. I went to check it out and pretty quickly 
after hopping around a few worlds, I found one that had at least 50 bots in the Falador General Store. Each bot only has two of each rare item, so as you can see, the rares popping up in the General Store are being bought almost instantaneously, but then also refilled very quickly. It was too fast for me. They were gone one tick after they appeared in the General Store. Even so, in just a few seconds, I made 62k, but as soon as I started buying the rare items, within 10 seconds, all of the accounts at the General Store logged out. I didn't hop around further, but Valueless Table sent me a lot of footage of him intercepting these trades. I'm not sure if the bots were actually buying the rares out so quickly. I think other people had caught on to what Valueless Table had and were also poaching the items from the bots. The footage he sent me looked like super, super easy gold. I mean, there were just stacks of these rares in the general store and he was running back and forth with inventories of 100 plus K. He sent me a screenshot of doing this for two hours where he made over 5 million GP in free to play. He showed me by the end of the night that he discovered this, he had made over 28 million GP from intercepting these trades. And this is just one guy trying to intercept the trades. Think of the amount of GP the botters are actually getting away with. He said that he said eventually there were also plenty of other people trying to intercept the trades. So we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of mils worth of these rares being botted. Just like the rares, Wines of Zamorak are super cheap in the general store. They're one GP. What I also found was a huge operation of Wine of Zamorak telegrabbing accounts at the general store selling Wines of Zamorak. This bot farm seems to definitely sense when people poach their items because as soon as I bought one inventory of the Wines of Zamorak, it logged out. I did follow one account just to confirm what was going on and it led me up to the spot where you can telegrab Wines of Zamorak in the safe zone. I collected a bunch of the names and reported them to Jagex, but it was super surprising what they told me. You would think that these accounts might have the requirements to get past the trade restrictions, but there's actually a reason why they don't. Each low level account that's telegrabbing Wines of Zamorak only log in for five to 10 minutes every day. Jagex says they make almost no gold. Jagex found 90 accounts with an average of 60k on each account. But it seems like the owner of this bot farm only uses the accounts 5 to 10 minutes a day probably to try to get around the anti-banning system. It's definitely one of the stranger things out there because they're making almost no gold whatsoever. Also, just a side note, the jug filling bots in Falador and free to play are pretty out of control. Make sure to leave a like if you haven't already and definitely subscribe if you liked the video. And remember, if you see something suspicious, you can always report it to SirPuggerTipOff at gmail.com. As an example of how much impact you actually have, someone tipped me off that there were three accounts trading one account in Draenor Village. They all seem to be air orb making bots. Clearly they were trading their mule. I submitted it to Jagex. They got 89 accounts banned trading this person and the mule had 3 billion GP on it. This one relatively minor tip off got 3 billion GP in botted gold banned as well as 89 accounts with 90 plus magic doing air orbs.